And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. One of the coolest kids games that we played over the last year were these two, pick a pig and pick a dog, or pick a pig dog, and you can mix them back and forth and lots of fun. Well now they have a third game, pick a polar bear, yay, we can mix them, no, not you, get out. Um, the, the polar bear is not compatible with the other ones. I don't get it. It just seems like it would be a natural, but I guess since there, the pigs were, were orange or brown, dogs were orange or brown, be weird to have a polar bear that's orange or brown, but then just call it grizzly bear or whatever. But anyway, it's the exact same game with some minor changes to it, some advanced play to it. If you've never played those two games, fear not, I'm about to show you how it's played. We'll be right back. At the beginning of a game, you're going to place out randomly from a deck of cards a bunch of polar bears. As you can see, the polar bears are similar but different. Okay, Each polar bear is either in the winter or the autumn. You can see the different backgrounds. They're either wearing glasses or they're not. They're either eating tuna fish or they're not. They are either holding up their right arm or they're not. And they're either large or they're small. So there's many different characteristics. Each player is going to get a captain, basically, they put in front of them. And at the same time, you'll flip these captains face up. And then I can start putting people on top of this captain. Now, if I find the exact same card, I could put him on top of the captain. Woohoo! You know, that's pretty easy. But you're not always going to find the exact same card. But you can put a card on him that's one thing is different. So, for example, this guy is small, glasses, fall. And the only thing different is he does not wearing tuna fish. And then I can go from this one, I can put this guy on top because he's pretty much the exact same. The difference is he's not wearing glasses. And I could not put this guy on top because they're different in two aspects, orange to blue and tuna to no tuna. So that wouldn't work, but ah, I could take this guy who's carrying the tuna and then switch to blue and then uh, switch to blue with the arm raised and then with blue with an arm raised to this one and so you keep going until you realize that you can't do any more so when that happens you shout freeze and the round is over we then look at everyone looks at your cards to make sure that you did it in the proper order if that happens you get one more card from the middle for free everyone else will look at their cards and if they've done them correctly they get to keep them if you are incorrect though your cards are gone too bad for you and then you will take each of the holes and you will fill them with more cards from the deck. If you can't fill them and the deck's out, the game is over. A couple variants. You can place this in front of the person who wins each round. And the following round, that person cannot put cards that are the exact same. They must be one different when putting them on top of each other. You can also shuffle these bonus cards into the deck. And when you're dealing out new cards, and if there's at least 10 cards and you deal out a bonus card like this, everyone quick looks to see how many meet that characteristic. For example, this says glasses in the fall. So here I would shout out five. And I count glasses in the fall. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I was incorrect. And since I'm incorrect, I get a minus two point card, which if I did this multiple times would be minus four. But if I was correct, I would get this card, which is plus two. And there's all sorts of bonus cards, you know, glasses in the winter. Um, Hand up with glasses, hand up in the winter, tuna fish and glasses, etc. And those are the two different ways to play. And whoever has the most points at the end of a game is the winner. I still wish it was compatible with those games, but whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. This game is really fun. It's really entertaining because you're sitting there and it's a speed game. You're trying to find things that are different. Adding in those extra little bonuses as you pull them out, eh, that's okay. But what I do like in this game, and I'm going to actually carry this through and use it in the other games, is the fact that whoever wins the round, the next round, they can't take cards that are the exact same. That's a really good thing. It's very minor. It won't hurt them that badly, but it kind of brings them down to everyone else's level so that if someone's a little bit faster than everybody else, then hopefully we've evened the playing field. It's very entertaining as you grab these cards and sometimes you'll make a mistake and grab a card that matches two, that's different in two things. You're like, oh, I didn't even realize he was wearing sunglasses. 
The artwork is cool. Kids will really like this. I have played this with the gamut of vassal kids that go da -da 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 like that, and they all enjoy this game. It's worked well with everybody. Um, I wish I could have the vassal kids with me right here to, to, to tell you right now they're, they're at school, but this is a game that just works well. Do we like it better than pick a pig or pick a dog? Well, it depends what animals you like better. Do those extra cards add things? The ones when you turn them out, the quick shout out bonuses, pff, waste of time. I don't really like that. Um, it's, I don't know. It just, it adds an extra thing to the game that just doesn't need to be there. But the, the keeping everyone equal and the cute polar bears, I think is a good idea. It's odd that they showed the pick a dog there because they're not compatible. See, the reason they can't be compatible is because this has different backgrounds. I don't know, may, watch there be some compatibility set in Crete, brought out. I keep talking about that, but let's talk about this again as a single game. This is a game that teaches speed, it teaches you to match things, or to find things that are similar, but don't match exactly, which is a good thing also to teach kids. If you have kids, this is certainly one that you should check out. Pick a polar bear. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.